and good morning. And welcome to the steps of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> One of the great estuaries in the world is hemorrhaging. Fisheries that God created and nurtured over millennia are being destroyed by greed in mere decades. The public trust is on the scaffold and water speculators have seized the throne. But they will devastate the Delta economy, send fisheries into oblivion, and turn the estuary into a backwater cesspool. Yeah. Yeah. The authors claim they're not authorizing a peripheral canal. They're only giving a governor who has declared his intent to build a peripheral canal the majority of votes on a council that has the authority to fund and construct it. The authors of these bills ask us to believe that restoration is best achieved by placing the fate of this estuary in the hands of the architects of its destruction. It is time to stop this impending train wreck and go back to the drafting boards. Solutions to our water crisis will only come through a thoughtful, deliberative process that is open to public scrutiny and inclusive of all. Thank you. I go out there on my boats, 25 miles out, 50 miles out, anywhere between Monterey and Fort Bragg, and I go out there and harvest this, these beautiful salmon, and then I come back into port and I sell them to you, to you, to you, to everybody who does not have the means or the ability to go out there and catch them themselves. And uh, at least I, I did that until a couple of years ago when, uh, when my industry was totally ruined by these excessive water exports from the Delta. And it's a shame. Uh, thousands of families all the way from California up to the Oregon coast are out of work. Not only fishermen, but all these related businesses, the fuel docks, the, the people that sell us the tackle, the ice docks, the uh, even campgrounds, grocery stores are, are not doing well because these salmon are not at our coast anymore due to these excessive diversions. And uh, I got to tell you one thing. This is not about a worthless two-inch minnow. This is not about, you know, some little worthless fish. This is about one of the most beautiful fish in the world, and it's called this king salmon that comes back up to the Sacramento year after year after year, and it provides us with this beautiful bounty that it always brings back if we allow it to. 10,000 years. Yes, 10,000 yeah. years. So, so if anybody tells you this is about a worthless two-inch fish, uh, the Delta smelt, they're lying to you. The Schwarzenegger plan to build a 50 mile long canal will not generate any new water and abdicates any meaningful oversight for the Delta and will cost a minimum of $10 billion. But truth be told, a handful of corporate agribusinesses, this cabal, allowed a stunningly rapid expansion of crops of almonds, pistachios, cotton, and others based on the expectations of continued illegal increased exports of water. That if it weren't for government, government subsidies and an unenforced environmental regulations, practically none of the west side land from Las Banas to Kettleman City would be irrigated. This is all part of vast efforts underway to privatize most of the state's water supply. And that is what this is about. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to call up Larry Collins. He's president of the San Francisco Crab Boat Association, a salmon fisherman, and uh, he brought his salmon boat all the way up here from San Francisco this weekend. Thanks, Barbara. I brought my boat all the way up here from San Francisco and walked up on the land because the salmon can't to come and tell these guys up here, don't screw it up any worse. Yeah. Enough water in California, we're never ever going to have enough water in California. Right. We can either not have enough water with salmon or we can have not enough water without salmon. Amen. Yeah. So put some water back in the Delta. Thank you. Yeah.